mother here is a career basketball backup. Now, no disrespect, but if you are a backup in women's basketball, it's time to give up. I know they say, like, persevere, like, keep trying. You should stop. Don't try anymore. There isn't a point. But when searching on YouTube to get to Paul Garrison to find Lions franchise, uh, I have found that Paul Garrison was a mule trainer first. And I don't, I never knew about this guy, but you know what? He seems like he's the best in the biz. So shout out to the real Paul Garrison. Yikes. I mean, what do you say about this guy? I, I've made so many jokes in the past. I feel like it's low hanging fruit at this point. Oh, <laughs> that's my worst one ever. <laughs> really think about that one. Oh, Bobby McCain. Looking like John McCain, because he was literally dead out there on the field. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bengal, that was the worst thing you've ever said. Uh, and you're you're definitely wrong. I said way worse. That was pretty bad, though. You're right. Uh, John McCain, war hero in Vietnam. A lot of respect for him. But, uh, you know, what I don't have respect for is Bobby McCain. Like, what the fuck was he doing out there? Can we get to the quarterback?! Micah Fitzpatrick, I'm digging myself a hole, much like the hole that John McCain was probably in. Okay, that's the new worst thing ever. I'm sure I'll top it at some point. I'm going to chill for a second, though. Yeah, not a cool guy. Turns out, loved murdering people. Kind of a weird hobby. He was uh, forced into an early retirement, had to hang up the cleats, and then something else. Tom Brady is an 86 overall it's pretty good he's only 25 and he's black whoa okay let's okay so i don't know what the issue is with uh and first of all maybe tom brady could be black that's fine you know i'm progressive enough to believe that but uh that makes no sense what i just said anyway like it has the face right i downloaded this roster but clearly in game the player model doesn't exactly match up Michael Vick. What if Michael Vick never decided that having dogs kill each other was a good idea? Jaguar Going Patrick Brandon. Adam, give us the lowdown on Brandon. There is Let's listen to all of it here. It hasn't been said already. After a somewhat quiet collegiate career, his stock jumped into the stratosphere after a family video leaked of him playing a memory game with his sisters. In the video, he demonstrates what is known as the Enoch memory more commonly known as a photographic memory. After seeing pictures of offensive schemes for less than a second, he was instantly able to recall each. After seeing the video, Deion Sanders visited him to break down tape, and after the session, Prime Time called him, quote unquote, the smartest football player he's met. It should come as no surprise that he was a 4.0 student and a Rhodes Scholarship finalist. This coaching staff cannot wait to get him into the fill room to start devouring tape. He has the mental aspects How of a long great is defensive this? back, but if he can develop the physical aspects required to become elite, remains to be seen. All right, so it sounds like he has potentially like physical deficiencies, but is the smartest dude of all time. So, I don't know how many more of these I can listen to. Let me get JPP an offer. And used to do it like this. Oh, check this out. 19.5 over 4. Tell you what, JPP. I'll give you a firecracker of a deal. Listen, Deshaun Watson, like getting beat by him, I get it, right? I get it! And I get the football! It's a dick pick! Pick six! BJ Dickerson! Get boned! Easy reads! Hop on pop! And you can call BJ Dickerson daddy. Oh my goodness, that sounded scripted. That was so good. BJ Dickerson. I'll spur the moment. I am super happy. First interception of his career is a pick six. We're fighting back in this game, man. We are fighting back in this game. Mark and I, fun fact, actually sat down and did a Jeopardy thing on stream before if you guys don't follow me on stream check it out twitch.tv slash bangle and i actually cried tears fell from my eyes as we played the strangest jeopardy board of all time so the backstory is we were just looking for like a general 
Jeopardy board, and this was not advertised. It was just, like, called, like, Game Night or something like that. And the entire thing was, like, deeply religious. And, like, every question and every answer was more specific and vague than you can even imagine. And we were just preparing ourselves for this, whatever this answer could have been. So I'll just play the clip and uh, Come on. describe this musical group. What musical group? <laughs> I am beyond excited here. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Milton <laughs> Brunson? <laughs> the Thompson. <laughs> Are we on an episode of fucking. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is hell. I couldn't even speak. I could not even speak. <laughs> uh, I wish I had the entire on, like episode or whatever. What? But I, I can't even I can't even tell you this this got me so bad I was laughing as hard as I've ever laughed who led the NFL in passes intercepted why just not say interceptions like uh, <laughs> who led the NFL in passes intercepted in 2015 uh, I don't know 2015 this is not oh Jesus. I have no idea. Interceptions six years ago now. Richard Sherman, maybe. I'm going to say Richard Sherman. Oh, so I completely misinterpreted the question. And I think some of you are going to be on me for this because it's like, oh, like it should be obviously that they were throwing passes and they were intercepted. First of all, Blake Portals is not a player. I guess it would be Blake Bortles or Robbie Bortles is his real name. Blake Portals, like Portal 3, is that what this is? With Blake is terrible. But in, in my thought, it was passes thrown that were intercepted by the DB. So I guess that's why they didn't write interceptions though. So, uh, this player owns the record for most interceptions in a game in NFL history. There are a lot here, but this is, I already know this. This is Willie Buchanan. He played cornerback for the Packers. He had four interceptions in the same game. It was in 1970. I know this seems crazy. I have had in my Google Drive. I will show you. I've wanted to do this video on Willie Buchanan because my theory, and I can't confirm this because I've looked into so many different things, so many different things. And I just want to make sure this is not passes intercepted. This is Willie Buchanan. He is from San Diego, California. He went to San Diego State. He went to the Packers. He was an all-pro with the Packers. He had like close to 10 interceptions in a season, I think twice, maybe once with 11, maybe one with 10, and then retired as a Charger. Great story, but you, I really have a theory that he intercepted three different Chargers quarterbacks in the same game. And I could never confirm this. And that's so wild. Picking off three different QBs in the same game. That sounds insane. I'm going to show you the Google Drive. This is Willie Buchanan 100%. There might be some other guys with four, but Willie Buchanan is the answer here. I know this for a fact. Jim Hardy had eight? No, he didn't have eight. No, he didn't. Eight? Dude, Jim Hardy was a quarterback. How are we going to call it passes intercepted before and now it's back to interceptions? It doesn't say most interceptions thrown in a game. It says most interceptions in a game. I hate this quiz. This is Willie Buchanan. I told you his life backstory already. Intercept. He had nine in 1978. It was 1978 the game happened. 1978, Chargers versus Packers. Willie Buchanan had three interceptions. And I, just check out the game. Watch the game. Watch the highlights. They don't show even most of it. It's ridiculous. It was not a good game. The final was 24 to 3, but Willie Buchanan had four interceptions this game. I promise you. There it is. That's the most interceptions. Has to be. Was he once considered a villain? I uh, Don Muehlbach so dastardly. We're going to say no on that. Also, I'm going to be put on a watch list for search of Don Muehlbach kids. I need to close that window quickly. Is he from Minecraft Story Mode? Well, I don't know what the crossover and overlap between NFL player and Minecraft story mode is. He's not black. Has he been to Tampa Bay? Yeah, I mean, at some point the Lions have played the Bucks. Yeah, he's been to Tampa Bay. Does he play truth or dare? I hope not. He's 39. 
Was he Yoda's apprentice? What are we doing on this? <laughs> we are all over the place. Not associated with the color green. Did he develop new powers? Yeah, dude, he's got the tightest spiral on some of those snaps. We're gonna say no. Does he wear female clothing? Like Jason Giambi wearing a thong? You guys remember Jason Giambi? Yanks could really use him right now. We're gonna say, uh, doesn't wear female clothing. Is he Hungarian? Where's the no idea option? I'm gonna say probably not. Is he afraid of clowns? I hope not. We're gonna say no. He does have white skin. Is he big? Yeah, I mean, he's gotta be big. He's probably like 6'4". 6'4", 260. Yeah, he's, that's big. Does he resemble a tank? No. Slightly overweight. We're gonna say probably not. Is he fat? Stop asking me that. Probably not. Does he have a tail? Where is this going? No. Not on a popular TV show. He's not a patriot. Is he chubby? How many different ways are they gonna ask me if he's fat? Probably not. Recorded any albums? I hope not with his Kermit the Frog voice. Was he a headmaster of a school? What is this, Harry Potter? No. Does he play Marvel Future Fight? I don't think so. <laughs> Does he eat birdseed? No. Is he a duck? Is he a duck? No, oh, like Oregon duck maybe? No. Still record albums. It, it, still. I'm gonna say no. From Compton. Definitely not. Yeah, from the Woodlands, Texas, which is north of Houston, if you didn't know. Not fat. Associated with Pittsburgh. No. Not Minka Fitzpatrick. Is he a stick figure? No, he's a person. Does he wear a red shirt? We're going to say yes. Still not from Compton. That much has not changed. Currently playing a team. Yes. Not from Arizona. He's not from Compton. Stop asking me that. Is he a pirate crew? I guess that's what the Bucks is.